You never know what's below the water. We're gonna explore what's under the water. Whew, this is me coming up for air in these class two rapids. Today we find a lot of treasure. Check that out, do you see it? We find a lot of treasure in these rapids. So check out some of this other stuff. We got some beautiful things. Let's take a look at the drone, giving an overview of some of the cool areas where we find treasure. treasure I think you guys can go down and get this one without me all right you ready I have no idea what this is but I'm curious so let's go take a look <laughs> finding really cool stuff like a phone to thinking you see part of a phone you go down and it's a piece of a glass bottle <laughs> or you say wow I just found a fishing pole this is awesome and then when you do finally get it untangled and out of everything Ooh. it's broken I'm in some kind of deep water it's uh it's over my head but I think we found another phone so let me catch my breath and we'll go get it might not seem like it, but diving down and back up and down again with the life preserver, man, it is hard to catch your breath. So while I'm catching my breath, enjoy some of the cool scenes from the river. All right, let's get back to it and go after phone number two. I don't exactly remember where it is. That may seem really weird saying I don't remember where it is, but the river is flowing against me. I'm going with the current right now. Sometimes when you're sitting in there, the current moves you around quite a bit. Looks like I found it. Yeah, you can see it there at the top of the screen. You see it? Anyway, so it moves you around and it's hard to remember exactly where it was. This phone was pretty trash. It had been in there for a while, but very contaminated. It, it's good to get out, especially with that bad battery and all that. So we got it. And it is pretty fried. <laughs> this is what I call the fishing pole graveyard. And maybe lots of other stuff, lures and everything else. So uh, we'll see what's in there. So just at the top of that mist in the left is where the rapid is. It doesn't look like it. I'm gonna give you a split screen view, but it gets really deep and really swift. Here's a split screen, screen view right here. So right now I'm just trying to get a view of everything. What 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 is there down there? What does it look like? Catching a crawdad. So I'm starting to see some broken fishing poles. There at the top is a net, a fishing net. So I'm starting to find some stuff. And then a banger find. Okay, we gotta get that phone. Oh, I'm gonna have to get my magnet. So I thought my magnet would help me. Um, this log, I have hooked my legs under the log and I'm trying to hold myself still while the current is pushing me, that current, is pushing me forward pretty hard. And it's very hard to stay in one place. You can see I just lost right there and I have to go back. That was the first attempt. Actually, the second attempt, we're gonna go back for a third one. Here we go. Okay, now I know you're all saying, geez, half time, you made that look pretty easy, you just picked it up. It was not that easy, folks, trust me, it was not. <laughs> we got it! Oh my gosh. I don't know what kind it is. Whew. This is the same general area, a little farther down from the rapid, so some of the lighter stuff will float down here. You can fishing pole, you're gonna see some lures, some pretty cool stuff. So it was a great day. Great stuff, treasures. Oh. 
Found a really cool pickaxe. You guys saw that? I'm afraid if I take it out of the water, though, it's going to rust and deteriorate. I don't know how to take care of it, so I'm going to leave it here.